Stefan, and welcome back to Pokemon Shield. So we just defeated Alistair in the last part, and we're gonna continue on. I'm assuming there's gonna be a cutscene, and I assumed right. Sounds like a Yamper, yep. Is it Sonya? Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stone Side? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be there. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom. Oh, crap. Looks like somebody's blowing up the ruins. <laughs> wow, what in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come on, Yamper. Alright. <laughs> Let me go heal before I deal with that. So, for the fossils, I looked it up. You can actually, you have to combine two fossils to create a Pokemon, and when you talk to that scientist on Route 6, they basically will make a Pokemon for you, depending on if you have the right combinations of fossils. I found some more fossils, so now I feel like I might have at least one of the combos. So I'm gonna go talk to her real quick before we deal with Sonya's bull. <laughs> okay, so the four Pokemon you can get are called Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctivish. Very interesting names. They're all kind of like similar to each other because they're like fusions of different things. So let's see. Hmm, you've got some fossils there. How huh? will you show them to me, Carolis? Yes. Uh, which one are your fossils? Fossilized fish. Fossilized drake. I think this might be the only combination I have right now, so let's just do this. Okay, restoration time. Let's unravel the mystery of these fossils. Stick them together. Here we go. Objective complete. It seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see it in its eyes. This is a Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. Please take and care for this Pokemon, huh? Dracovish. Okay, so that means we have three more to get eventually, and you can get fossils in the- Whoa! <laughs> you can get um, the fossils in the wild area, so we'll be able to get all four of these things, which is cool, unlike past games where it was version exclusive. Um, fossil Pokemon. Alright, so Dracovish, the fossil Pokemon. Its mighty legs are capable of running at speeds exceeding 40 miles an hour, but this Pokemon can't breathe unless it's underwater. What? So how does it battle? <laughs> so this is basically a dragon with a fish head stuck on it. Cool. Interesting. Weird. Creepy. We're gonna send this to the box. <laughs> and let me talk to her one more time. No, because that's the only combo we have, so we're not going to make another Dracovish. Alright, I'm going to go back and see what Sonya was talking about. What's going on? I heard a huge noise come from the direction of the mural. Is this some sort of surprise event for Taurus? Uh, don't think so. We might finally be seeing our first evil team encounter. Team Yell doesn't count as an evil team. Ooh, there's a item over here. Max Revive. What's going on up there? Well, I guess you want me to go find out. What, what, what's going on? What's happening at the ruins? Sudden big noises are a great way to get people feeling uneasy. <laughs> Why do I like that kid's response the best? Um, I've seen you before. Are you a gym challenger? Um, that's all you have to say? You're not going to react to whatever's going on up here? Oh, it's Bead! What the heck? <laughs> and he's got a huge elephant. All right. Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're going to find those wishing stars. He's crazy. What? We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Copperaja, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. This dude's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor. That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. Actually, I don't care about wishing stars, like, at all, but... Alright, dude. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Alright, he's gonna use his Duosion.
Uh, we'll go for payback. Always setting up light screen. Hmm. Should be fine. Ha! Hmm, I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Cinderace is level 37. Alright, he's gonna use his Hatchroom. Uh, should we switch? Nah. I think Hatchroom is still just Psychic type, right? Doesn't get Fairy until its final evolution, I think. Alright, going for a Dazzling Gleam. But Appleton is a tank, so that's fine. Oh, he's gonna use healing items. Interesting. You're just delaying the inevitable, dude. Okay, one more payback. So, Bead is kinda like being the bad guy right now. He's not- I don't necessarily think he's bad intentioned, but yeah, he's clearly being the, like, bad guy of this storyline at the moment. Oh, he's gonna use this Malaria. Oh my god, I'm so jealous! We're gonna switch to Thievul. Oh, it's so cute! Okay, we're gonna Night Slash it, though. <laughs> Yeah. Poor baby. <laughs> okay, so... Nobody leveled up. He's gonna use his Gotharita. We'll stay with Thievul. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from everything I want? <laughs> oh, so it is just about you, not the chairman, really. Night Slash. I'm surprised it survived that, actually. Okay, unless he heals again, we should be done here. Cool. Evil level 38. He is big mad. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. It doesn't work like that. Give me your $8,000. Thanks. <laughs> but why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. Challenger bead! Ooh, is he gonna get yelled at? Huh? <laughs> they look pretty pissed. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you'd try to use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of a Pokemon Simple Beam or something? <laughs> what? Wow, he's bold dissing freaking Oleana right now. Most people are scared of her. Okay. How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bead. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. Can they pull their, um, what is it, their sponsorship or whatever? It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school, to give you a chance at success. For trying to destroy a mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love toward Galar. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Oh my god. I think this dude's like getting kicked out of the gym challenge. 
You, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Yeah, for you, dude. <laughs> Challenger bead, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is some trauma. Ah, Sonya and Pinkmon too. Terrible shame, all of this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason, yet we do what we must to keep we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. That was crazy. <laughs> what the heck? You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. It was already kind of broken before, but- Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Well that's gonna help with her research, I guess. <laughs> Look at her thinking about the, um, scrolls or whatever. I saw this meme, I'll tell you after. Bang, she's got an idea. <laughs> I saw this meme about Sonya. It was so funny. <laughs> about how she's, like, always fakely coming up with, like, connections for every scene and asking you for advice and stuff, even though you don't say anything. And she's like, oh, yeah, you made me think of this connection. But every time she's just kind of saying the same thing over and over and, like, it doesn't really make any sense. But, yeah. All right. <laughs> no offense, Sonya. Alright, not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Pokemon? A sword and shield? I don't know. Right! More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people, the same as the tapestries. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Budu drop in? Who knows? More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means the sword is a Pokemon, the shield is a Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking this I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and the shield, were actually Pokemon, but why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these, so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balan Leah next, right? Oh, and that's where that little girl's like crush lives that we have to deliver the letter to. Well, that was a whole thing. Um, that looks pretty cool. Anyone have anything else to say? So, there's a history being covered up by all that over-stylized artwork. I'm gonna have to look into this some more. That young lady, Sonia, she's researching the truth about the ruins, right? She could be the granddaughter of... Her, could she be the granddaughter of Professor Magnolia? Yep. What, what, what's this? The hero was actually two people and Pokemon? I feel it was more artistic before it got destroyed. <laughs> The kid kind of talks like an adult. I made a huge amount of money in the market. Congrats, dude. He's back and he made a huge amount of money again. <laughs> 10,000 stairs. Anything else? Or are we... Is this guy new? We should let the people at Balanlia know about what happened with the mural. Let's see now. To reach Balanlia... You have to head through that mushroom forest. Ooh, a mushroom forest. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm gonna go heal up. I, like, kind of feel bad for Bead. 
but only because of the whole he doesn't have a family, he had a rough childhood, blah blah blah. Still doesn't excuse him being a douche all the time, but there is a little part of me that feels bad for him right now. But I kind of feel like he's going to go full evil now that he got kicked out of the gym challenge because he's going to be all pissed about it and want revenge or whatever. Yeah. Alright, let me check the map uh, to see which way I'm supposed to be going. So we're headed for Val and Leah over here. I think we have to go over there to the right. If you want to get to Val and Leah, yeah. Glimwood Tangle. Wait, what did she just say? It's important to touch the mushrooms. It's important to touch them? I thought she would say it's important to not touch them. <laughs> okay, well, let's see this whole thing. Ooh, Glimwood Tangle. This looks pretty freaking awesome. Oh, look at the Impy Downs! They're glowing! Oh, you can, like, make it brighter. I love it! <laughs> I'm gonna have to, um... Oh, they just ran away. I'm gonna have to... Oh. What? Oh. Is this gonna fight me? Cute! <laughs> I already caught one earlier on, so I don't need this, but... I couldn't get away. Oh my god. Appleton is slow. Let me look up what Pokemon I can catch in here. <gasps> we can finally get our Ponyta! I should have known by like the look of this place, but we can finally get our freaking Ponyta. I'm so excited! So we can find it. It's a 10% chance in an overworld encounter. Oh no, it's random in grass. There is no overworld, it looks like, here. So I'm gonna search for one because that is the top priority right now. Oh, Morgrim. So this must be Impedimp's evolved form. I'm not gonna catch it, obviously, but I just wanted to show you because we haven't seen this thing yet and it looks pretty freaking cool. I am just gonna run. All I care about is finding Ponyta or something we haven't caught yet. Here's something we haven't caught. It is Sinistee. It's a little ghost teacup thing, which is pretty hilarious, but yeah, we're definitely gonna grab this. Um, I always forget I can just use the X button to get a Pokeball. We'll do just a regular Pokeball. Got it! And that was actually extremely freaking rare. It's only a 1% chance, and I found it really early on, so I'm very grateful for that. Sinistee, the black tea Pokemon. The teacup in which this Pokemon makes its home is a famous piece of antique tableware. Many forgeries are in circulation. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let me keep looking for my Ponyta. Oh, here's another pretty rare thing, so 9% chance. Oranguru. Um, I am gonna fight him a little bit. We'll just use Tail Slap, should be fine. We can get Phantom. Spritzy, I think we already got Spritzy, right? Um, we can also get Ndidi. And I'm not 100% sure if we got that yet. Don't think we have, so be on the lookout for that. I feel like this thing is kind of heavy, so maybe I can use a heavy ball. It's probably going to be a waste, but it's it's not that great. <laughs> wow, okay. He looks heavy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got it! 
It's a little tricky to catch and it had me thinking I should probably go buy some more balls. I'm gonna do that so we don't accidentally like run out of balls when trying to get Ponyta. Oranguru, the sage Pokemon, it knows the forest inside and out. If it comes across a wounded Pokemon, Oranguru will gather medicinal herbs to treat it. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some balls real quick. All right, so I got some more balls and I've been searching for a little while. I haven't found a ponytail over there. I'm just gonna keep going a little further into the forest because even though it's not confirmed or anything, I just feel like certain patches of grasses have, I don't know, different catch rates for certain Pokemon. It's just what I think. Maybe it's a conspiracy theory. It's been true in past games, so I'm just gonna see what happens. Oh, there's a random chef out here probably getting some mushrooms. Are you looking for mushrooms that give off light when you touch them? Hmm. We're just gonna tail slap, I guess. Oh, it avoided the attack. And now we're attracted. Alright, we're definitely gonna switch out because I can't deal with that. <laughs> Evil is in love with that pile of milk. Alright. Bolton level 39, we're about to hit the level 40 range, and he's going to use a Shinodic. We can find that here, but I don't remember if I got a Moralel or Moralai, whatever the heck the uh, pre-evolution of that is, but yeah, I definitely want to get that before a Shinodic, so. Uh-oh, effect score, that's kind of gross. Natural level 33, grabbing another level before I replace her with a Ponyta. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna keep bolting out. I feel like she needs some love. She needs a nice, like, full battle by herself. I should have crunched that thing. Whatever. Spark was enough, and she got a crit. Nice. I hope I get a female ponytail. It doesn't really matter, but I just kind of want one. <laughs> Double level 37. Hey, a strong trainer. That's rarer than rare mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Well, let's keep on looking. Hopefully there's no hidden items that I'm missing here. <gasps> ponytail! Oh my god! <sighs> I'm so excited. It's a girl! Yay! Okay. <laughs> um, I gotta be kinda gentle with, with this thing. So I'm gonna switch to Bolton so we can nuzzle it and get that paralyzed going. That'll make it easier to catch. And I do wanna catch it in a heal ball because it's just gonna look so amazing in heal ball. Plus, we're gonna be adding it to our team, so it works. Um, thanks. <laughs> So cute. Wonder what level it evolves. I can't remember what little what level regular ponytail evolves at. I'm sure it's like the same, right? Okay, we're gonna nuzzle it again. Should I risk one more nuzzle? I don't know. Maybe one more will be fine. If I knock this thing out. I'm gonna be so mad. Don't get another crit. Oh no, I should knock on some wood. Okay, good. <laughs> I 
Um, let me go for one of these heal balls. I think I only- oh, I have six, so hopefully one of these is gonna work. But I just- I think it'll look so cute in a heal ball. Yay! <laughs> we have our full team now! Evil level 39. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, Ponyta, the unique horn Pokemon, Galarian form. This Pokemon will look into your eyes and read the contents of your heart. If it finds evil there, it promptly hides away. Oh, it's so pure. <laughs> um, no nickname, and we are adding you to our party. I'm sorry, Hatchrim, I really like you too, but I mean, come on. This is like the best Pokemon of this whole region, hands down. Let me look at her. So she has the Pastel Veil ability. I like the name of that. Protects the Pokemon and its ally Pokemon from being poisoned. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's ally Pokemon. Does that mean the whole team won't get poisoned? Or that means in like double battles? I think it means in double battles. So... She has some okay moves right now, and it's a careful nature. It likes to thrash about. Okay, <laughs> pretty cute. Let's see if we can teach anybody any moves, including Ponyta. I could teach it Attract, because nobody has that right now. And I feel like that kind of matches with a Ponyta, or a Galarian Ponyta, and I don't really care about agility, so... I might get rid of Attract in like two seconds, but <laughs> I kind of just wanted to give it to somebody. Um, can you learn anything else? Swift? Mm. Oh, let me check its stats, actually. I didn't even look at that. Not sure if it's more of a physical or special attacker. If I had to guess, I would say special, but I don't know. Oh, it's actually more of a physical-based attacker. Looks like this nature isn't horrible for it. At least it is increasing a stat that it's already pretty good in and decreasing one that it's not very good in, so that works. I'm gonna put her... Should I put her first? I don't know. Yeah, screw it. I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna use her right away, and let me give her some kind of hold item. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give the Rocky Helmet to Appleton. And then give the Amulet Coin to Ponyta for now. Okay. Well, that is all sorted out. Still have a few more things to catch over here. Oh my god, it's so dark over here. Here is that mushroom boy. But we are skipping on that. I kinda just wanna use Ponyta in battle even though this is pointless. <laughs> um, let's just side beam it. So cute! We gotta get her some better moves though for sure. Alright, let's just run. I just wanted to see her in action for like a sec. Ooh, you know what? I haven't seen what the shiny version looks like. I wanna look that up. Ooh, bright powder. This another mushroom. A big root. What else is there? There's a double battle. Who do we want to use with our ponyta? We can use double, why not? The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. I came to ride a Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Um, was she talking to me or this, like, possible boyfriend? Daring couple Robert and Jacqueline. A Ninetales and a Curlia. Two really cute Pokemon that I love. Okay, so... Um, let's do... I guess we'll try to take down the Ninetales first. Incinerate. 
Oh crap, a critical hit on Ponyta. Poor baby. Yeah, see, we need to get her some physical based moves, though. Good job, Ponyta! A good way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. He loves trains, huh? Too strong. Guess I'll look for someone I can actually beat. <laughs> we just got 14k from that fight. Nice. How's everyone after that? Eh, we're fine. Let me keep searching. I looked it up and Ponyta evolves at level 40. So, don't have to wait too long for a Galarian Rapidash. Hyper Potions. Ooh, I see a hidden item, but I can't get it. This old lady. Some mushrooms react, some mushrooms react in interesting ways when you touch them. Or when you eat them, but... <laughs> Indeedy. So we can catch an Indeedy here. I am i don't know if I caught one already. I should probably check my Pokédex so I don't, like, waste time trying to catch something I already have. Are they Psychic-type? I think they are. Oh, we should have attracted it. I'm gonna try it because I haven't used Attract before and I think it'll be cute. I don't know it's not really necessary. How could you not be in love with this Ponyta? Cinder is level 38 and wants to learn Counter. Uh, I kind of hate that move, so I'm not going to learn it. Looks like she's using another male in D. So, attracted. I was expecting her to use a female one. Madams like me react in sad ways when we're defeated. Um, she also gave me 13k. Pretty nice. Let me heal. Here's that hidden item. A luminous moss. Boost special defense. If it's hit with a water type attack, it can only be used once. That's really specific. Here is a TM. U-turn. Could be useful, actually. If anyone can freaking learn it, because I feel like my Pokemon <laughs> can never learn any of the things that I actually get. Anything over here? Oh, oh it's very dark over here. We battled them. Oh, another TM. Snore. Hmm. Okay, I just don't want to miss anything. I feel like that's the end of the route, so I don't want to leave. I'm just gonna um, look for those couple things I still need. Let me check my Pokédex too. Okay, so I definitely don't have Indeedy. So I do have to keep looking. Here's one! Cute! 
Looks like we are getting a female one. I kind of like the male ones look maybe a little better. I like them both, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it should be able to survive some stomps from Ponyta. Okay, not too bad. I'll probably come back for the male form of this later on. And Bolton is level 40. I feel like she gains levels faster than anyone else on the team. And Dee Dee, the emotion Pokemon, and this is the female form. They diligently serve people and Pokemon so they can gather feelings of gratitude. The females are particularly good at babysitting. So I feel like the boy ones are like slightly different if they have a separate Pokedex entry, so I do want to get both, but... Okay, no nickname. Go to the box. And now I'm just looking for Phantom. Or possibly a male and DD. Found a Phantom. No! Oh my god, that's so annoying. I should've just thrown the ball. Well, Appleton's level 36 and wants to learn Iron Defense. Not gonna do that. Ugh. Well, looks like I have to look for another one. <laughs> Finally, oh my god, that took so long. And I did figure out that actually you can only get the female version of Ndidi in Pokemon Shield, so the male version is in Pokemon Sword, if I read that right, but yeah. So I'm not gonna have to worry about coming back for a male one, I'll probably have to trade one from my sword once I finish the game. But let us try to not kill this thing. <laughs> Got it. Well, that took forever. <laughs> My recording raw footage is now over an hour. Phantom, the stump Pokemon, with a voice like a human child's, it cries out to lure adults deep into the forest, getting them lost among the trees. This thing is evil. <laughs> Okay, finally done with this forest, so let me go over here real quick. I think I got everything there is. So, actually, let me... Yeah, it's definitely ending. Okay. So, with that, I think I'm going to end the part here. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!